Do you ever feel so unmotivated? Unmotivated to do anything? Because life right now, you don't know what's gonna happen. Like, I don't know. Do you know? What's, I don't know what's gonna happen. I I, I got the thing just for you. Cause see these, these are some of the photographers. I believe these photographers. You know, let's go to the other room. Yeah. Now these are just some. These are just some photographers that inspire me, that get me going, that get my creative juices flowing. So these are just some photographers you should know. Let's get right into it. All right. So all of these, all of these photographers, I just found them on the Insta. I have no idea how or who or where or who. I I want to say that I probably just found them through hashtags or something. I have no idea how I found these people. I have I've never met them. I have no idea who they are. They just. I just found their account. These people are inspirational. Let's get to the first one. This person definitely uh, made you want to go out there and shoot some night photography. This person, Leland Foster. Hope I'm saying that right. It's not Leland, right? It'd be like Leland. Just look at this. Look at this. Like, uh, so just right off the bat, like, look at this. A Domino's man. This dude never misses for real. And you know, if you've ever done night photography, it can be a little sketchy. Like, it's a little sketch for real. You never know what's gonna happen when you go in night photography. Every single one is just so good. Um, like, look at this McDonald's. It's just so cool. Like, even the clouds, the lighting. Like, I'm pretty sure he has to edit them, right? I don't know. And honestly, my favorite one would be this one. Like, the starship. Like, that kind of, that kind of like fade, that blurriness, that glow. It just looks really dope. So, if you're interested in night photography, definitely follow this dude, Leland Foster. This guy goes hard all the time. I guess he has his own website and everything. Let's check it out. Yeah, see? I guess these are his paintings, because he says he is a painter and a photographer. Yeah, I guess this is the dude right here. Of course, got a store. Honestly, out of all these, that's a tough one. It had to be this one or this one. A tough one. Also, all of these photographers are more in the DL. They're not your you're more, you're more known photographers like Willem or that other dude, King J, King Sum. Uh, and the other one, what's his name? Joe, Joe Greer, I think. Anyways, so these people are more on the DL. I wanna show you, this guy, this guy is definitely more on the DL. This is a guy named Plain Donuts. I guess his name is William Leg. I don't know how to describe this, how to categorize this kind of photography. It's definitely something I've never seen. Like, they're, it's very, it's open spaces. A lot of buildings, they look like they're built like in the 2000s or something. Uh, the colors, they're all they're very similar, you know? This is definitely gives an aesthetic, a certain aesthetic. They're all blue, very beige colors, and always empty. It's like a still life kind of, st still life kind of photo. That's what I love about it, honestly. Uh, it's just really great all around. And again, this dude never misses. Always, always hidden, man, for real. Look at this, like a freaking garbage can. Yeah, dude, for real, it is dope. This dude, look at this one, like, so good. And then especially the, the grape tomatoes, the shine on them, so great. Um, even the shopping cart, like, come on. This dude, uh, I definitely took some photos inspired by this guy. Let me show you real quick. I feel like if you're from the Valley, you've definitely been to this place, Forever 21, the Harlingen Mall. But now, you know, no one goes to a Harange Mall, it's going out of business. And I heard like some dude bought it for like two million or ten million dollars, something like that. Anyways, look. Took another one. Oh I did. Oh yeah, right here, see? Plain donuts, shout them out. I don't know any of these people, so if you're into plain donuts, follow him. This next dude, uh he's definitely more known, I wanna say, more than the other people. Uh, Cause he just takes he takes portraits definitely a different style than the ones I've showed you previously. Linus, Linus and his camera. If you've never heard of Linus and the camera, go follow him right now. This guy is dope. This guy is definitely changing it up. Look, he's even taking photos of Valandas. Come on, like come on, man. Did you also? I don't know if y'all saw. If you follow Valandas, he took portraits of Casey Neistat at his house. Like come on, like that's crazy. That's that's goal. That's my goal right there. Taking photos, taking portraits in Casey Neistat's house. Dude, Casey Neistat, big inspiration. 
like this has changed like come on like look at this one I never look at that the, cl the clouds the smokiness the lights the colors like he's making his own studio all around man for real I heard of him because he had a video of a 3d camera um, I've heard lots of ups and downs about that 3d camera uh, that's like really cheap like it's really all made of plastic but if it was me bro I would definitely cop that camera for without a doubt I literally I remember having a dream that I got a 3d camera for $20 but not. If you go online, they're like two, two, four hundred dollars. So if I find it for cheap, I will buy it. Anyways, one last thing I want to say about this guy is this that I absolutely thought was very creative and amazing. My first social distance photo project. Went to friends' houses and freaking took photos of his friends in their house out the window. Like, come on, man. Like. This was in March, so like when everything was really going on lockdown. So good. You know, you would think it would kind of be kind of be cheesy, but no, nah, this thing went pretty hard. And also, uh, he has his own lab, which I think is freaking crazy. I don't know how I've never tried to develop my own film, but I, I feel like it seems very difficult. I know one dude who does it locally here, but that's it. <laughs> so look at that. I think it's a great deal 15 15 bucks for each roll that's a great deal man especially for slide film too maybe I should hit him up but anyways if you've never heard of this guy Linus in his camera go follow him this dude is dope last one I want to I want to show you is another dude who does portraits um, but I just wanted to show you this guy because I've never seen anything like it the way he's doing it Jake Oh jeez, I don't know. Wagner. I don't think it's Wagner. Is it Wagner? Wag it's not Wagner. I don't know man. If I'm you know, I'm sorry. So anyways, Jake, uh oh he has it has more followers than the other ones. Uh 34, we'll say 39,000, but still on the DL. So this dude again, he just used lights. He also used do double exposures and like long exposures. Like it's just so dope. And like you see all these long lines, right? He actually showed how he did it, which I think is freaking wild, especially on a film camera. He literally gets the camera, takes it, and then freaking jerks it, man. Like he has a video about it. If you're so, if you're interested in it, go watch that video. He has a super deep voice, super deep voice. I was very surprised. I had no idea how this dude looked like. He has his own book as well too. I think that'd be a goal. I, I definitely want to have a book. That'd be super dope. Maybe more maybe more in the future. In the long, in the in the far future. This guy will definitely inspire you to, to to get your portrait game going. To get your portrait game up and running. So that does it for the video. If you liked it, please let me know. Comment below. Comment moons over my hammy or coffee or something. If you want to see more of this, let me know and I'll definitely make a part two because I definitely have a handful of other I definitely have a handful of other photographers that definitely inspire me. Thanks again for watching. It means a lot to me. Subscribe, like, all the good stuff. Thanks for watching y'all. Peace.